Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number five for hotel maintenance system in Django with Next.js. In this video, we are going to create the payment confirmation page, or you can say the checkout page, where we will show the all booking details, and uh, if need, then we can show the terms and condition, right? So in our previous video, we have uh, created the uh, room detail or a room type detail page where we are showing the booking form. Uh, room Im rooms images right in a slider we are showing the amenities we are showing we will show the location right now in this what we are going to do here is a simple wireframe where we will show the booking confirmation so this is just a uh, uh, simple things that uh, we are going to show uh, total rooms total guests check-in date checkout date charges according to the per day into the total days uh, tax if any and uh, total here we will show and we will also show one government ID is required on the checkout uh, on, in the checkout time right and a terms and condition page right and uh, we will also create a payment success and failure page uh, in the success we will show the thank you and uh, invoice ID in the failure we will show the error description with the home page back link right so these two things that we are uh, we are going to do this in video and uh, i hope you will understand all the things and till now you understand that what we are going to do right so let's start to work on the booking confirmation page okay so what we are going to do when we click on this then it will redirect to the checkout page right currently these uh, currently because we are creating the template so we will not check that what is filled or what is not but when we click on this we will just link and then it will go to the uh, it will go to the checkout page right so let's open the let's close this and let's open the uh, page this is room types select page here right and then let's close this and uh, we have a booking let's make it a link Here, right and then href and in the href we will say confirm or we can say checkout right okay so now we need to create the checkout page so let's go to here and let's create here new folder checkout and in this checkout we will create a new file page.js right and then export default function a page right and here a return and then we will say here sorry we'll say this is checkout page right this is checkout page okay <clears throat> now we need to link here okay so when we create this it means it will it should go to this page right so let's when we click on this it is going to checkout page right now what we will do here so we'll create a container right and then section closed and the same thing we'll do the title okay here okay so we'll say uh, check out page you can change the title whatever you want whatever you require right so here you can see that okay now we need to implement uh, this kind of thing okay so let's implement in the div okay so first of all we will open get bootstrap let's go here let's go to uh, layout let's say form not form uh, let's say flex box options now let's go to layout uh, where is the layout 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 uh, let's go to tables if we do in the table then it will look like this 
but i'm thinking uh, i'm trying to do in a grid this kind of thing okay so what i will do i will create a row right and this row in this row what i have uh here total rooms get okay so let's do one thing div class column six six and then we have a label in this label we will say total sorry let's see the reference total rooms right and then let's say we have a span tag and in the span tag we will uh, sorry in the another div call six and in this label we will say two rooms right and let's check it so total rooms it's showing two but uh, this is showing i think we should show in the table form but this is taking too much space right so what we can do here uh we can do let's do in the table then okay so let's do in the table but we will take less space so we'll try to give some offset right so let's say div class call 8 offset 2 and then in this we will create a table uh, which have a class table table bordered and then we have a, a row and in this we have a th where we will say total rooms right and then we have td in this we have two so total rooms two and we will say table bordered why this is not showing like a border let's go to bootstrap and let's see here table right so we have a table table bordered okay let's check table stripped table bordered we need to check table bordered bordered yeah so table bordered let's check it this is okay i understand it should be in the t body oh sorry uh, t body right now let's check it all right so this is total rooms too uh we should also this checkout option will be in this then it will suit okay so total rooms and then we can more compress it more little bit okay so total rooms and then we have a let's say total guest total guest four right and then total rooms two right and what else check in date check in date check in date check in date is let's say this date check out date let's say 30 hmm? uh, where is that here yeah and uh, check out date charges so we have charges charges are so per day charges into total days equal to so total days uh, 11 days or 10 days 10 days equal to 15,000 right 
and then if tax any tax let's say 10 percent right and then total amount total amount so 10 percent plus this so one uh, sorry 15,000 plus 1500 equal to 16,500 right this is the total amount right and then what we have and then we will show here td and this is called span 2 right and in this we will show the so two things the first one is terms and conditions right and let's say link we will create terms and condition page right so here uh, where is that links is not defined let's define the link then okay here so terms and condition and one more thing we need to define okay let's say uh, let's say span uh, not span actually uh, let's say let's define the class text danger and in this we'll say uh, one government ID required when checking right so this is necessary so one government id is required when checking okay and then let's define more to uh, let's define two buttons right and uh, one is for cancel cancel class button button uh, dark name no button secondary right and then let's say call span to call span to and one more button proceed to payment we'll say pay now and this will be success right and let's give it a margin margin start to and let's add it here hms button dark what is that hms bg dark sorry okay so this is our checkout page so when we click on this so if payment is successful then uh, we will show uh, this one success if not then we will show the failure right so let's uh, add one more button let's see here pay now success pay now failure right and let's define a link here so this will go to success and failure page okay hrf hrf will say payment payment success and payment failure right so payment success and payment failure let's uh, add one more link here uh, bg let's say button danger right so pay success and pay failure okay so when we click on this it should show the template like this so it, it is it, these are two different templates but in the wireframe i have created one so let's create these templates uh, quickly and then we are done with this video and then in the next video 
uh, we need to work on the user sign up and user sign up page and uh, other things okay so let's create first uh, let's create the success and failure page quickly okay so what we will do here for the success and failure uh, let's create <coughs> let's create a folder payment right and in the payment uh, let's create a uh, one more folder uh, we'll say status right and in the status we'll create one more uh, uh, we'll create file success.js or we can oh, sorry uh, we can say page.js right page.js okay <clears throat> now let's uh, uh, which application has very small or most small page components common bottom so this is very small so we'll use this for here so we'll use this uh, page right so what we need to do so <clears throat> success and failure okay so let's first define the success all right so let's say in the success we have two things uh, two things one is thank you message and one is invoice id and then home page button right so first of all let's define the frame and in the h3 we'll say thank you right in the text success with icon fa <coughs> fa check circle right <coughs> okay so when it's go to pay success uh, it's not showing anything let's do define one more thing let's say slug right so what we have this slug so we have folder payment oh, oh. we have defined wrongly here actually we defined in the checkout but it should be out of the checkout oh, oh. we need to close this close this and let's try now again try again no this is in use this is saying this is in use so let's create let's copy this paste here okay and uh, let's remove it we need to okay let's leave it okay so now we have payment slug and page okay so here you can see this is showing the thank you message but it should be in the it should be in the uh, let's remove this delete move to recycle bin continue and we have a payment page all right so <clears throat> sorry this should be section section with the class container okay here so thank you message and let's say margin bot margin top bottom five and text center so thank you and then second one is h5 and we will say invoice invoice id should be a link right so this will be href we will discuss later and let's say invoice id is this one right link is not defined so let's define the link here okay here so invoice id is this uh, let's give it some margin padding 
sorry why i'm always say margin padding it's top bottom margin okay so no way says this and then we need to define one more link here which is home right so home uh, sorry href hash right so here home and let's define this class button button dark and let's give it some top bottom margin right and one more class i uh, sorry one more button my dashboard right so my dashboard and uh, let's give it a margin margin star 2 and dashboard link will be bg hms bg dark right so thank you message and then invoice id and then we can show this my dashboard okay so this is nice and uh, now we can show the uh, failure page right so let's show the failure page okay so before showing the failure page let's understand one thing so uh, we have created slug part for this payment route right so if i change this here to failure right so if i say failure then still it is showing this thing right so it means we need to check that what is the slug and according to the slug we need to fetch the data right so what we will do here let's do one thing first of all this is accepting the params or this is including the params this page and let's say constant uh we'll say slug equal to okay so one thing we'll say here if if sorry if param start or we can say params dot slug equal equal to success or first of all let me show you what it is including so if i say this console right and i include this in params and let's check it here in the console it is not showing anything because this is server component and when we go to and check here then it is showing the slug here you can see right and if i say here success right and let's say success then it is showing the success here right so this is server component and so that it is showing in the server not in the client right okay so now what we need to do let's define constant uh, sorry let's define constant slug equal to param start slug right and uh, here we will define slug equal equal to success and then we will show success uh, payment success payment success right if failure then we will show failure right so we need i will create two two main payment failure right so let's create two components so in the components i'll create a two components actually in the payment folder payment folder let's create one file we will say payment success or just simply say success or uh, now let's say payment success.js right and one more will say payment failure.js right 
and let's open any of the component and we'll copy that so no we can copy anything okay so payment success so I, I will copy this one and paste it here and just remove the this thing and we will say here payment success right and uh, payment success okay let's remove this thing and this thing and this thing but we need to define frame parent you know parent id right so this is our uh payment success okay all right so this is payment success let's copy this and paste here and this will be payment failure right so we'll say oops oops something wrong happened something wrong happened right and uh, this should be in the text we'll say danger and no invoice link but we need to add a description right so here we'll say error description right and here we will say error code or we can switch description first and then as a uh, code first and then description and this is also in text danger right and now in the page if success then we will show the success if failure then we will show the failure let's check it so payment success is not defined so let's say payment success and same similarly we will fetch payment failure right so here okay so this is success page and uh, if you go to failure then something wrong happened and this is working all right so now this is error code error code should be in yeah this is fine okay if need then we will change later right so we have created the booking form checkout form you can say if i go to checkout here then this is the checkout if i go to failure then this will show the failure if i go to success then this will show the success okay so we have created our uh we have created we completed this part is this here so we completed this part all right now we will work on the user sign up login and other things okay we need to do a little bit fast so that we can achieve this as soon as possible so we can start the apis all right so we have done with this video and uh, if you need the source code of this project then uh, this is the public repository uh, code artisan lab you can just go to code artisan lab on the github and this is the first one right when you click on this it will open this and here are the steps that i have added and uh, regularly i'm updating this so just send me your uh, username get username and i will collaborate uh, this project with you right and uh, i will keep updating uh, while I'm working on this project okay so thank you so much for watching the video uh, please subscribe this channel like this video share this video and uh, please comment your thoughts about this series about this video on the comment section and uh, please like this video I'll request you that uh, I'm creating these uh, projects with these live projects with the uh, you know advanced technology so please like the video so it will give me more motivation right so thank you so much and let's meet in the next video we'll create a user uh, panel or we'll start creating the user panel okay thank you so much